Hello and welcome to video number five, Animating Illustrator Body Layers and After Effects. Today you will be able to develop an understanding for importing audio and composition files in After Effects and be able to explore and uh, the ability to do just audio layers in After Effects as well. So um, now that we've opened up a new composition in After Effects, file, new project, um, you might need to play around with your composition settings, but it should pop up uh, as, a, as a blank screen like this. And in your composition, what you need to do is just open up all of your files. So we have three files that we're working with. We have a WAV file that we've created with QuickTime, and we have two Illustrator files, or Photoshop, if you work through Photoshop. But with our Illustrator files, we should have layers, and we're going to import those as compositions. So if we here is our is our uh, Ma my Manders joke wave file, and I've brought that down to my timeline, and I'll show you that in a second how we can trim that up and and use that. Um, but let's import some other files as well. So let's go to double click on this uh, composition box here and find your files that you've created in Illustrator. Uh, I have a pink monster file, which is right here. I'm gonna open that up. And we want to select composition, make sure that's selected, and then click OK. And then we also want to import the mouth files that we've created. Uh, mouth um, for animation. There we go. Um, click open. We want a composition. Click OK. And so here's our footage, our, our composition that we want to play with. Now, if we take, let's first take a look at the, the audio file. So if we drag that down to our, our timeline, um, we'll see that uh, it's a WAV file, and if we scroll back and forth, of course, we don't hear anything. But um, to play it through, uh, we'll have to click on this RAM preview button over here to the side. Did you hear about the kidnapping at school? It's okay, he woke up. Now notice it was playing a bit fast, so to, do, to change that, we'll, we're right now in the Manners Joke composition. Go up to... Um, uh, new composition, not sorry, new composition, composition settings, and take take a look at your frames per second. It might be set at 25, but the way you recorded it is probably at 29.97 frames per second. Uh, so let's click on that and then try it again. See what happens. Did you hear about the kidnapping at school? It's okay. He woke up. Okay. Um, now that is right. That sounds you know, more accurate. Now, if you want to play with that higher uh, um, frame rate speed, uh, you can go back and change that. Um, I, I think for our purposes, I'll just leave it alone for right now. Okay, so um, next what we can do is start playing around with uh, the pink monster composition. And if we double click on this pink monster composition, uh, here is your uh, monster comp and years will obviously look different but notice what it does is that it automatically brings in all of your illustrator files separately so that you can animate um, each layer on its own right so we can make this guy move or walk or whatever we want to do now I don't like the black background so what we need to do is go to composition settings that's uh, command K on the keyboard and then we can play around with, with size. We can play around with um, the background. Let me change the background color to more of like a green. I think I want a green, you know, because if you want to play with, you could even play with some green screen effects even in here too if you wanted to after you uh, illustrate it out. So animate it. Um, we could, uh, let's see, frame rate. We probably want the same type of frame rate to match our voice. So we can click that. <clears throat> And here's some different uh, size aspect ratio settings. Um, I'm just going to leave all that as is. I kind of like the way it looks on the screen right now. It's give me, it gives me room to do some other things. So click OK. And then, um, yeah, we'll play around with the mouth later. That'll be a different video. So um, what can we do now? Let's say, um, let's see here. What we may need to do is bring this composition into the pink monster composition. Um, so if we, so we may need to um, take the wave and bring it down in here. And if notice now, if we hold on the command key on the keyboard, command is also the Apple key on some of these keyboards, but the command key. Did you at school? Okay. I'm done. I'm done. 
it'll bring in the it'll bring in the original um, footage that we have, and I have cut some things out. So let's just preview it here. Did you hear about the kidnapping at school? It's okay. He woke up. Notice there's some right. other noise in there. Okay. That so I don't now when want. you're done, I think you. So to do that, if you hold down the command key on the keyboard, you can scroll and it's hear it. It's okay. He woke up. So right about there, I want to trim it. I want to trim that that um, this this layer. To do that, I can hold down the Option key and click the right bracket like that. Um, where's my stickies? Uh, let's see. So, so um, command plus right bracket. Oops, sorry, not that one. That one equals uh, trim to playhead. Okay, it'll trim the layer. All right. So um, we don't have that extra f stuff there, okay? Now let me see where it begins. I have a lot of dead dead air right there, but maybe I could use that. Maybe you could walk in or something. So we'll use that later, okay? So um, what we need to do now is is start playing around with the rotation points of the figure. So if you if you notice when we click on a layer, you'll see the the mid you know all these different layers are are kind of separate. Let me undo that move. If we click Y on the keyboard, hold down Y, we can move this center point to where we want it to twist to. Well, let me go back. Notice. On this left foot, watch what happens if we click the R button. The R for rotation pops up. Now, if we rotate this, notice it rotates directly on that center point, right? To move that, we hold down the Y button or click the Y button and move that. So now it rotates more at the hinge of the ankle. Okay? And we can go back. And if we want to start that keyframe there and scroll it ahead, we can now rotate it up or down and continue that motion. And notice whenever we rotate it, it'll drop a new keyframe. Okay. So when we animate this, it looks like he's tapping his foot. All right. <clears throat> we have to do that to all the different parts. So right foot, hold down the Y, move it over. Right thumb, if you want to get really specific. Let's see, let's zoom in here. On the right thumb, hold down Y, click that, left thumb. and so forth to get the idea. Zoom out. All right, let's see, left forearm, Y. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'll be with you guys in a second. Why don't you pause and repeat this process and we'll then, next we'll be pairing, parenting uh, certain layers with the body so that they move and rotate together. Okay, now that we've changed the pivot point of each limb, uh, we can now start parenting certain layers with the body layer. Um, so what that looks like is we have parent over here. These little swirlies uh, is means that we're going to parent. It's a symbol for parenting uh, layers together. So I know that I want um, the the body belly, for instance, to match the the body um, layer. So, for instance, let's just see what happens. Oops, I forgot to do that one. Um, let's go and move the body. I want him to be able to like twist at the hips a bit. 
Okay, so if I wanted to rotate the body, notice uh, what happens is there's nothing to go along with the body. So the face and the horns and everything, they're all off. So uh, we got to make sure that that's all working together. Let's put that back at zero. Um, let's start parenting um, everything. So um, the right, let's see, um, the body belly, let's do that for sure. Bring that in there, the left eye, got to bring that into the body, right eye, drag that over. Left eyebrow, right eyebrow. I don't know if we can select two by holding shift if we can do both at the same time. I don't think so. It doesn't look like it. Oh, yep, it did it. Okay, so you can see where what parent what's parented here is that it's telling us that the right and left eyebrow are now parented with number 19 body. So um, let's get all of these. Why not? Um, let's just parent them all with the body. And if not, we can always undo it by clicking here and going to none or whatever you want to parent it to. That's another way to do it as well. Okay, so what's this one? The mouth guide. Yep, we want that to be with the body as well. Let's see, body, um, right knee. Why not? All right, so now if we rotate the body again, we can see that everything's kind of working. Although maybe we don't want the legs and everything to work with that as well. But um, let's just see what happens maybe if with the right eye or the left eye, sorry, the left um, shin. Let's try that R on the keyboard. Let's rotate that, see what it looks like. Yep, okay, that works. Yep. All right, we can rotate that like he's walking in if we want to. Okay, how about the left upper arm? Let's test that. Rotate. Okay, that looks like it's working all right. All right. That's pretty much it. We can we can animate these things together by clicking on, let's say we want to animate the I don't know, the upper left arm. Why not? Um, so uh, we can start the rotation and move it a bit and then move it upward so you can see it's moving with the foot you could do multiple things at the same time you can see how much this might take it might take a while and that's okay you know because sometimes Rome wasn't built in a day right so with the tail, uh, we want to rotate that at all. Um, you know, start the keyframe, move it. Maybe he's going to be waggling his tail. Okay, that's it. I'm running on long, long time here, thirteen and a half minutes. So. Um, you know, that's really weak and not very good, but you guys get, hopefully you understand the concept here and that, you know, maybe you can also move this. If you don't like the position of the arm, you just downscale these arrows and uh, transform and you can position any type of eyebrow if or any type of um, uh, different uh, piece that you want. You know, let's say you want to position that eyebrow a little differently, um, and you can you can move it. Oh, you know, you have to unparent it. Sorry, you have to un take that parent off of there. It should work, but it's not. Well, I'll have to figure that out. Get back to you on that one. But um, good luck, guys.